it's Saturday night guys and we're back out on another stealth camp oh, oh you know what I'm talking about right So welcome back to the channel Mandingos. Well, there's a few people been asking us to camp next to a police station. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll not be right next to it. I'll be around the back of it in some bushes. Hopefully I can get in there without being seen. I've been given a nice bottle of whiskey off someone, a guy called William. I'll tell you more about that later on. I've got a nice steak to cook and some other stuff to eat and drink i'll show you all that when i get in my spot right i'll bring you back in a minute oh. So here we are folks, I'm just walking into the entrance of the local cop shop. I'm not going to hang around here very long, I'm just showing you how close I am to it. I don't think they're too keen on people standing around with cameras. So, how are we? There's a way. My pal dingoes. We'll get out of here as quick as we can. <laughs> you know it makes sense. Right folks, so that's the police station there, just over that wall. All the police cars parked in there and the vans. So we're gonna move from here. I'm gonna leave the camera rolling all the way till I get into my camping spot. Because I want you to see how long it's took us to walk from the police station around to there, so you can see how close I am. don't think I've got much cover in there because it's autumn now and the bushes and trees are all a bit bare anyway I'm gonna turn the camera away from my ugly mug and I'll just keep it pointing ahead so you can see what I can see Whew. now this road down at the bottom it's one of the busiest roads in the city of Sunderland. So I'm just going to have to just, just go for it straight away. No hanging around like what I've done on other camps. Luckily for me, there's no pedestrians kicking about. A few cars here. Let's just hope they're not taking any notice of this. Fat man dingo. Right, where the free get a mark on a camp. Anyway, guys, I mean, and all them drivers is far too busy watching the road to be noticing me. Um, shit. I don't know how good that light is. I don't know if you can see us. I'm gonna to have to try and find a spot now. It doesn't look like there's anywhere. Oh, Jesus. Anywhere I can put a tent or anything. Right, guys, give me one minute and I'll bring you back. 
it's not very good at all but it's going to have to ding dang do for this man dingo guys see you in a minute oh yes I found a little spot it's not ideal not at all and I'm going to have to keep the noise down because there's a fence just over there and that's like the, the back of the cop shop where the police officers where them park their cars <laughs> Whew, I can't get my breath a bit nerve wracking doing that right folks same as usual I'm going to get my bag off and I'm going to sit and chill for a good half an hour before I start and set any gear up in the meantime I think I'm going to make a nice cup of coffee and I'll bring you back soon oh ho, you better believe it mandingos two rights Right guys, I'll show you exactly where I am. The road is down there through them trees. I've got this little spot here. I'll have to try and see what I can do with it later. I've got my foil mats and me and my tarp and sleeping bag and that. Anyway guys, let's get through as you can see, there's my bag there with all my stuff in and this is all I've done so far, set my seat up, this is where I'm just sitting chilling. And I've snapped my selfie stick as well to make things even harder for us. <laughs> Nightmare. Anyway guys, time to get a coffee on. Ho oh, ho. You know it makes total sense. Nice caramel cappuccino. Can I beat it? Oh. Well, I'm nice and chilled out now. I've just set me little camp up down there. Me foil thing and me mattress and sleeping bag. I put like a tarp over it. I'll show you that soon after I've had this coffee. In the meantime, man dingoes, while I'm sitting here chilling, I might as well answer a question. And the most popular one this last week has been, how was little Mick? Obviously, if you if you normally watch, you'll know he was going to come out last week with me and young Chris in the Lake District, but he wasn't feeling too well. So everyone's been asking, how's Mick doing? Well, the answer to that is, he's fine. He's great. What it was, he had a um, really bad earache. He, he does suffer a lot with earache. So the last thing he needed was to be coming out camping in the cold weather. So we said why well, just give it a miss this week Mick and then come back out next week but <laughs> he already had plans for this week he's had a 60th birthday party for one of his family members so he's told me that next week he's definitely 100% coming back out on a stealth camp and I've got a good one lined up for me and Mick oh, you better believe I am Mandingos better believe I have Mandingos I mean <laughs> anyway folks that's the end of the first question. I'll bring you back soon and I'll answer another one later on. Right.
Right, I'll show you where I'm going to be sleeping. Try and get this done as quick as I can because I've got the light on. So I've just got that tarp there. No need for it to be pegged in. It is pegged in down there in that corner and over there in that corner. I've just put, I don't know if you can see there, a walking pole just to keep that bit up so it's above my head. I've got a foil mat down. Oh, my leg. I'm kneeling on a fucking thorn. Oh, sorry for the language, guys. Ah. Ow, ow, ow. Right. Under there. Oh, my knee. I've got my sleeping bag. My mattress. And then I've got this thick, thick foil down. That's actually what you put in the windscreen of your car to keep the frost off. So that's pretty thick. That's going to stop the cold from coming through. Right, guys, I'm going to have to turn the camera off because I think I've got a thorn stuck right in my knee, dingo. Man, dingoes. just made myself another coffee it's only 6 45 quarter seven so I don't want to start drinking the canned dingoes now and run out of supplies because I've got a long night ahead of us anyway I might as well answer another question now this one's been asked loads of times I was trying to avoid it because I, I didn't think many people would want to would know the answer to something. It's a bit disgusting really, but here we go. Loads of people have been asking where do I go if I need a P or more importantly a number two when I'm out wild camping or stealth camping. Well. It's not really a problem, like, if you need a pee, you just, you go in the bush somewhere and you get a pee, it's as simple as that, isn't it? I think everyone knows the answer to that one. But for a dirty, stinking number two, um, I don't really have a problem with that when I'm stealth coming. I normally have one before I leave the house, and that's it, I'm good until tomorrow when I get back. If you mean you know your own body, don't you? So I know when I've had one, that's it. I'm I'm good for. I'm good for a while, so it's not really an issue. When I'm stealth camping, when I'm wild camping, sometimes you've just got to go, and there's nothing you can do about it. So, the answer to that is, obviously, find somewhere to get one away from the main path where people will be passing by. You want to be away from where there's any any water. And um, it's just using common sense, really. I always take a trowel, so take a trowel, dig a hole, bury the mess, and that's about it, guys. <laughs> it's not a nice thought, is it? This man, Dingo, having a big stinking dump in the woods or in the mountains, but it's got to be done, and that's about it. Dig a hole and bury it, guys. Anyway, I'm going to finish the rest of this coffee. Then man dingoes, the plan dingo is, I'm going to have a couple of canned dingoes. Oh yes, you know what I'm talking about. Right guys, 
time to show you my food and drink for tonight. Three cans of Thatcher's Gold cider there. There's one there that I've already started drinking for my food. In that pan dingo, there's leftover broth of last night. For my non-UK viewers, if you don't know what broth is, it's basically just a soup with loads of different vegetables in, loads of ham, big chunks of potatoes, and I've also got loads of pepper in. I like it nice and peppery. Also, I've got a nice rump steak there. It's not a big one. I've got a bun there. There's already some cheese in it. And I'm going to have some of this bullseye New York Steakhouse barbecue sauce. A bit like a sarni I had the other week on the roundabout camp. Steak and cheese with barbecue sauce. I've got some whiskey there, which was kindly given to me from a legend by the name of William Forrester. Thank you very much, my Mara. Really appreciate it. I've only brought half a bottle out. I've poured half a bottle into an empty water bottle at home. I don't want to get too smashed on a camp. Definitely when I'm right next to a cop shop. Would I? Oh, <laughs> you know what that means, Mandingos. Stick around for the world famous Blot Outdoors Waski Review. Oh yeah, you know what I'm talking about, Mandingos. And you know it makes total sense. Rice. Just getting a little bit chilly now guys so I've put me down jacket on my nice warm hat I'm having a few shots of this single malt waski <laughs> cheers guys lovely ah oh. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? <laughs> you have the rights to remain silent man dingles. Oh yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Two rights. Yes. Get the old steak a in the little pan dingo. There we go, guys. The steak is in there. Cheese on the top, melting. Barbecue sauce. Oh, yes. 
I'm looking forward to getting stuck into this guys you better believe it hey right, folks time to get stuck into this nice steak and cheese and barbecue sauce sarnie mm. that was just bread I got there let's get through the steak A little bit tough. Mm -hmm. It's as tough as an odd boot. It tastes nice. Good God. It's like eating leather. It's as tough as a nard boot. <laughs> I normally buy me steaks from Aldi's and they're absolutely spot on. I got this one the other day. I was shopping with the wife and we were in um, Home Bargains and I seen this on for a good price. No wonder it was on special. <laughs> it tastes nice, bud. Oh, God. That is one tough bit of steak, my thing goes. I'm going to put the camera down and I'm going to try and gnaw my way through this. <laughs> Bring you back in a second, guys. Cheers guys, time for another question, one I've been asked a few times over the last couple of weeks is will I still be making these stealth cam videos over the winter, you know when the weather gets really bad and it's icy and frosty and snowing, lashing it down with rain, <laughs> Well, man, dingoes, you know the answer to that. It's a definite yes. I will be making these videos every week. I'm going to try and get one out every Sunday, guys. Mm. Yep, every Sunday. Obviously, you never know. I could be ill. I could be full of flu. I could have a family emergency or you know just something bad could have happened you never know what's around the corner but if it's nothing like that I will be out every Friday or Saturday making a stealth cam video or wild camping in the Lake District but um so yeah <laughs> I will be making a video every week no matter what the weather I don't care what weather it is it gets me out the house like just tonight for example look at that not even a, a spot to camp put me foil mat down bit of tarp over me walking pole make the best of what you've got that's what life's all about man dingoes make the best of what you've got that's what I've always done I've had bot all for a few years, but I love just getting out. Anyway, I'm going off track. <laughs> I'm talking shite as usual. Just a 
couple of chaves walking past. I can see through the bushes. Yep. Looks like they've crossed the road. Aye. Yep, guys, I'll be making videos all year round, no matter what the weather. You know it makes sense, man, dingoes. Blood outdoor show. Rice. I mean, right. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it, guys. I've just woke up, I fell asleep. <laughs> I was just that nice and chilled out and relaxed. I fell fast asleep. It's five past one in the morning. I thought this was gonna be like a, a right on cue. <laughs> Bloody hell. I was just about to see her. I thought this would have been a noisy wild camp, stealth camp, with us being next to the police station. I thought there'd have been police cars and vans in and out, because just there is the entrance. Wait, there's like a back door, that back gate that opens up the police station where they can just fly out quickly I thought there'd have been police cars and police vans out all night with the sirens going I definitely would have been a Saturday night and everyone drinking down in the city centre but it's actually been really quiet well, I suppose that's a credit to the city of Sunland. Ah. <laughs> I'm just, oh, I'm just waking myself up now. I'm having a couple of cheeky waskies. Before we do the world famous Blood Outdoors Waski Review. Ho oh, ho yeah. You know what I'm talking about, man, dingoes. Right, folks. Give me just a short while here. <laughs> I'll wake myself up. Good and proper. I'll have another couple of these. And then we'll do the review. Oh, yeah. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Right. Oh, yeah. You know what time it is, Manding goes. Waski time. And this week, what we've got is the Ardmore. Single malt scotch waski. Oh, yes. I've got the the world famous little cup ready for the world famous waski review. Here we go, guys. Let's get the old bigger Rooney in it. Right. Straight away. There's a strong peat smell. And I'm getting a lot of spices coming through. You better believe I am. With some honey notes 
Well, that's a good start, man, dingoes. Anyway, that's enough of the sniffing. Let's go in the taste and oh, yes. Oh, a nice little spicy kick to it straight away. Mandingos. Somebody just walked past that. got a lovely peppery spicy thing going on it's not the smoothest whiskey I've had but it's not too harsh either and the famous words of little Mick it's a little bit rough and smooth at the same time if you know what I'm talking about, my pal dingoes. Now after the third or fourth taste there, I'm getting a lovely little bit of honey coming through. Dare I say, a nice little bit of vanilla at the same time. The more I taste it, the more it's getting better. I've actually done a review on this. I think it was over a year, uh, over a year ago, but at the time I didn't even have 1,000 subscribers. And this was kindly given to me from a legend by the name of William Forrester. Cheers, William, my friend. It's very much appreciated. So I thought I'd do another review on it. Same as though most of you mandingos didn't say that one. Mm-hmm. So that's all. It's got a nice little spicy thing going on. A lovely bit of vanilla and honey coming through after a few tastes. It's a little peppery, a little bit spicy, which is absolutely beautiful. Mmm. The Ardmore Highland Single Malt Scotch Waski. Very nice indeed. I'm going to give that. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. I don't know what I'd give it over a year ago, the last time I'd done a re review. <laughs> Slay your words, Chris. I think I give it a bigger score last time, but in this last year, I've had some beautiful whiskies, which have been better than this. So I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10, which is still a fantastic score. Yep. Hmm. Here we go, guys. The Ardmore Highland single malt scotch waski 7.5 out of 10 very nice indeed that's the end of this waski review you know what i'm talking about mandingos this is serious stealth camping all right guys it's that time of night I'm under the top now. I'm as snug as a bug in my sleep bag. Lovely and warm. So I just want to take this time now to say a massive thank you to everyone who has supported the Blood Outdoor Show this last week. Thank you so much, guys. There's your names down there. 
you absolute bunch of legends. I really, really do appreciate it. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to put a video out every week. And like I've said before in previous videos, I work two jobs and it's, it's hard to find the time to make these videos. And obviously it costs money for the drink and the food and the fuel and this, that and the other. So, you've been very kind to me. Makes it easier for me to make these videos. Thank you very much once again. There's your names down there. I normally have to put a few names down and then a few more names. Thanks, guys. You absolute legends. It's very much appreciated. I'm saying the same shite over and over again, aren't I? But I do, I do really appreciate it. More than you will ever know. That's enough of me talking crap. I'm going to get some sleep now. And I will see you manding goes first thing in the morning. Good morning guys, I've slept well, I've slept too well, it's five to nine in the morning, in the morning, you know it's morning don't you, it's five to nine, when I'm stealth camping, I'm normally home by this time, Sitting with a cup of tea, editing the video. <laughs> right then, I'm going to get packed away. And get out of Dodge City. <laughs> I'm, feeling, I'm feeling a little bit rough off that whiskey. Right, <laughs> I'm going to get packed away and bring you back in a minute. Rice. Okay then folks, that's me all packed away. I've got all my trash, all my rubbish in my bag there. I've picked a few bits and pieces up that doesn't belong to me, but there's far too much to pick everything up. As you can see, that's where I was lying down there. Pretty minging, isn't it? <laughs> Canny few cars kicking about. I haven't seen anyone walking. So, in a couple of minutes, I'm going to make a move for it. Bring you back in a second, guys. So, just slowly making my way out. A few cars now kicking about. Probably people won't think I've been camping, that's it, we're out. They'll just think I'm some pervert that's been hanging around in the bushes. That's it, I'm out, no one about, happy dingoes. Oh yes, another successful 
stealth camp completed. So I'm back in the old Van Dingo Man Dingoes and the plan Dingo is I'm gonna go home now have a nice cup of tea and start editing the video. So guys if you've enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up it's very much appreciated leave a comment I do read every single comment and I'll try and I'll try and reply to as many as I can if you want to support the Blot Outdoor Show there's a link in the comment section where you can buy me a coffee or a whiskey you know what I'm talking about so that's it guys till next week little Mick will definitely be joining me next week on a stealth camp so that should be a good one see you later Oh yeah, right. Oh, uh, I'm Mason.